I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Zergy Ziggy. This is a walking home simulator. This is a game by Connor Sherlock. I played in one of his earlier games, and I, I think it was a mistake to pick the particular game I did. I, I did not enjoy it at all. Um, so yeah, this... I didn't do this. That was here when I got here. It was definitely here before I started the video. I just didn't think it was necessary to point it out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So yeah, we're just going to walk home on a perfectly normal day. As this car just sits here. Can we get in the car? Nope, this is a walking simulator, not a driving simulator. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, that is so cool. I love 3D pixely things. It's just so good. Oh, look at this gas station. This is the world's largest gas station. This music has the potential to be very grating, I hope. I hope it is not. But, um... Whatever. Oh. Look at that more effect. Oh. Mm. Good. Oh. We got a nice little alleyway. Okay, I'm turning that way down. Okay. It's oddly repetitive. Like, annoyingly repetitive. So, I have no idea where we are going, but we are going there, specifically. And, uh... This is a nice garbage alley. Everybody has to stop in a garbage alley once in, or twice in their life. Is the Sea of Blood over here my home? Thought it was getting closer for a moment, but no. Unfortunately, it's not. I think that... Yeah, that's a run button. Okay, good. We can run and jump. That's definitely a plus. So, what do you guys think about when you uh, walk home? Do you think about how that guy that was dead on the street totally wasn't murdered by you? I think about that sometimes. Not every time, of course, but... Uh, Sometimes it's nice to think about all of the people we totally haven't murdered. You know, just in case we need to not practice our alibi to the police. <laughs> not like we would ever be talking to the police about a murder, but uh, sometimes it's just nice to remind yourself why you are totally not going to be doing that. Sometimes it's nice to just stop and smell the trash. You know, the good thing about summer is the trash is extra fragrant. You just... Mm, it's good stuff. You can't... You can't get those kind of smells in just a simple country town. You gotta have a nice city where lots of murders happen to get the good trash. Mm. Nice red city with the blood just spewing out of the sky. Oh, that's where the trash smells the best. That nice red polygon jutting out of the building. Let's touch it, shall we? Just touch it with our face. Mm. Oh. oh, it's a feisty one. Mm. That's a good, horrible red thing. Can I jump? I probably shouldn't, like, try to get myself stuck. What is that? Oh, I love these lighting effects. Look at that. That is so good. After I've thought about the people I haven't killed, I, uh, I like to think about the uh, nebulous cyan glowing structure in front of uh, my apartment building. These artists these days and their rejection of the uh, laws of gravity. It's quite silly if you ask me, but uh, the kids seem to enjoy it. And of course, near the uh, red wall of doom, there's the car lodged in there. <laughs> uh, kids in their cars, but real men like myself, which are actually spike balls and not men at all, we like to walk home and get stuck on horrible red polygons. What a light! What a lovely, lively town. The red tentacles reaching inexorably towards the science sculpture really remind me of red tentacles inexorably reaching towards a science sculpture. It really makes you think. 
So, after I've thought about those two things on my way home, I start to wonder, where is my home? Do I have a home? Is this even the city I came in? Where did I get here? Why did I get here? I wonder about these things for a few minutes, but it starts to fade. It starts to fade as one block starts to look like the next, and I realize I have no idea if I have a home. I have no idea if my home is in this city. I have no, I have, bleh, I have no idea if I'm going to die tonight, but that's okay. We're all going to die tonight, each and every one of us. We are. I'm sorry, but it's going to happen. Sometimes you just have to jump on top of a car to uh, express your feelings. It helps, but the owner of the car won't be happy. Fortunately, he's not alive anymore. <laughs> what do you have to say to that, Jim? Not very much, I can tell you that. Jim. He was a jerk. Nobody liked Jim. But nobody has to worry about that anymore. It's totally not my fault. Sometimes I wonder why the rawls of red just slowly inch towards me every day. I don't like to think about it too much. Thinking about the red walls makes my teeth feel like blood. In fact, I should stop looking at those. I can already taste the warm, irony taste. It's rather enjoyable after a while, but uh, sometimes I pass out and I wake up in an entirely different city. But tonight I'd just like to go home. If home is a thing that I can be at instead of an abstract concept that I may never truly experience, but uh, who's to say? Who is to say? Not me. Certainly not me. Sometimes I like to go to the statue of a cyan hand being pegged to a wall with horrible red spikes. It's a rather uplifting poster, or a sculpture if you will. I like to call sculptures posters just to keep people on their toes. It really, uh, it really pegs down the experience of being pegged down with horrible red spikes. If you haven't been pegged down with horrible red spikes, I advise you to meet me in the alley outside of your apartment in the next 10 minutes. It will be very informative. Is this home? Is this the first safe house in GTA 3? It might be. It certainly looks like it. Are we home now? Perhaps we were already home when we started this video. Perhaps we'll never be home. It's the journey that really matters, isn't it? The journey into this horrible hellscape where we have no home. It's a nice... It's a nice way to wander. Sometimes you just need to look at the horrible concrete statue. Everyone has a nice horrible concrete statue to look at. But if you don't, perhaps you should make the horrible concrete statue you want to see in your town. They don't just pop up there. Well, sometimes they do. Don't question it. Do not question it. They will not allow you to question it. Do not question it. But that's not important right now. What's important is definitely not that the sidewalks seem to be stained in blood. That is definitely not important right now. We don't need to worry about that. Worrying about that just makes your feelings hurt and makes the little tube inside of your ear pop. So try not to think about those things. Try not to think about the cyan sculpture and the traffic lights erupting into the sky. Try not to think about those things as you wander home. Try not to think about the pain that not thinking causes. Try to forget all of the pain before you pass out, or it will still be there when you wake up. And that's no fun. That's no fun at all. Try not to touch the horrible glowing wall. It will be very tempting. But don't. Just don't. Trust me. We all know that we'll be better 
if you don't touch that wall. We all know what happened when Timmy touched it. <laughs> yes, we do. Mmm, some dumpsters. Hold on. Ah, it's a good dumpster. Excuse me. I love this red moon we've got. I love this red everything we've got. Everything is red. Sky is red. Streets are red. You're red. Everything is red now. It's better this way. This way will last forever. I'm just gonna stand on this podium for a minute. Excellent. Is this home? I note a single light in this apartment. Is this single light my home? It seems incredibly unlikely, however. It is the only particular hint I have to go on at the moment. To be quite honest, nothing seems to be my home. I don't know if there is a home. Perhaps home is the acceptance that there is no place for you to return. Perhaps home is the horrible glowing red wall that slowly consumes us. Perhaps home isn't. Perhaps home is one of these houses right here. I honestly have no idea, but that's okay. Oh, I love those reflections. Mm. Sometimes you don't know how to go home. That's okay. We all forget things, especially after I hit you in the head with a crowbar. Do you remember me hitting you in the head with a crowbar? <laughs> it's okay. Most of them don't. Some nice fire escapes placed just too high for anyone to be able to actually use them. I like it when fire escapes are placed impractically high so that when people try to flee for their lives, they fall to their deaths. It uh, tells you a lot about life, mostly that it ends, and that you really shouldn't trust me to install your uh, fire escapes. It teaches you those two things particularly, and a lot more. Or probably not. Hmm. This is just an ordinary floating cyan sculpture. Rather boring. I preferred when the horrible red tentacles were tearing them apart, to be quite honest. I don't know why they came into this neighborhood. Things sure were better before they came here. Nobody told them things would be better with them around town. They came anyway. That's why I have a shotgun now. To shoot giant cyan sculptures. The police know me by a first name basis now. They're nice folks. Nice folks. I'm starting to believe there is no home for me in this town. That I'm just wandering forever. But perhaps wandering forever is indeed my home. Perhaps wandering forever is your home, too. Got a nice overpass to sleep under. I wonder what happened to that fella that I didn't kill, that I definitely did not kill, in the beginning. I'm sure he's not dead. And that I didn't kill him. Just wander into the sunset, shall we? Perhaps that red blob is my home. I seem to recall my home being some sort of red, billowous monstrosity. With cars stuck in it. Perhaps this is not my home after all. Rest in pieces, my friends. Can I stand on the horrible red? Yes, I can. Good times. Uh-oh. Let's not get stuck on the horrible red. This is a zoom-in button, fortunately. It's always a zoom-in button. I'm not really sure why. I mean, why not, but... Hmm. 
Well, I think my time of wandering is about at an end. I'm pretty sure there's no home for me to go to. This music. It's, it's, it's trying its best. Don't laugh at it. I <laughs> like this guy just going wild on the synth. Wait, there's another one of those cyan sculptures. Let's go look at it. I'll go take a look at the README and see if there's anything obvious that I missed. But, uh, an empty trash can? I've never been so disappointed in my life. This is home now. The glowing, horrible mass under the overpass is in fact your home. Return to it immediately. Do not question its demands. Do not question how a cyan object can emit green light. Do not ask these things. Their answers are unpleasant and may rupture your mind. Literally and then figuratively. Fortunately, you won't feel the latter because your brain will have exploded. I suppose I'm back in city limits. It seems to be at all, about all there is to do. Sometimes that's fine. Sometimes you don't need to return home. Sometimes the crimes of your past are too much to return to. Unless it's this home with green stairs. I do seem to vaguely recall having green stairs. So glad I installed those green stairs. Nope, this is my home. This is definitely my home, and definitely not a debugging artifact that was left in. I'm sure it's not that. Let's gonna take a quick look on the street. I think we'll call that. Oh! Another green home. Oh, wait, I saw a green thing. I'm not sure when to stop. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not seeing an apparent ending, so. I'll call it quits at some point. Did I see something green? I saw like a single green pixel. Yeah, I'm seeing some green light. I just want to see if there's one more sculpture that I didn't see or something. Then we'll call it quits. Then we'll return to our home. Whatever that is. Home. It's funny, I don't even remember what the word means anymore. Perhaps it's always been like this. Or perhaps this is home. Perhaps this is all the home anyone's ever needed. Right here. In this spot. In this car. Look at these trees. It's a nice home. Nice open feelings. And lovely trees in the distance. Who needs more than that in a home? Certainly not a roof or walls. Those things are for losers. I hit losers with my car. You're not a loser, are you, fair viewer? Let's walk in the park before we end this. I always wanted to walk in a park. What a lovely park. Actually, somewhat of cemetery. Hmm. All these gravestones seem oddly familiar. I wonder why that could be. I wonder why that could be, Clarence. Here's a lo another lovely little green thing. Or cyan thing, rather. Strange they glow green, but... Don't question it. It's better for both of us. It really is better for both of us. I'm gonna see what this object is. Oh wait, there's one more green thing. I'm sorry, I have to see all of the green things. So yeah, this... What is this? That, that name is not meant to be pronounced. It's just a little wandering home adventure. This is what will happen if you wander home and you don't remember where your home is. That or you'll end up like this fellow. <laughs> 
The wonderful thing about gravestones is like they're monuments to your achievements. Got a lovely little bird head here for some reason. Let's let's just embrace the horrible red tentacles, shall we? Wait, it seems to be stairs going this way. Got like a path? No, it's just shadows. Yeah, I don't think it's anything special, but there. Let's just see what the horrible red tentacles have for us today. Perhaps it's lunch. Perhaps it's eternal damnation. Perhaps both. I know that I personally prefer eternal damnation with lunch. It seems this is actually the edge of the movable world. Oh well. This has been a game that I can't pronounce. If you want to wander on your way home, feel free to download it and uh, check it out. <laughs>